Picture this, you're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, a thousand miles away from the nearest land, and all of a sudden, bang, your gooseneck breaks. What do you do? In this video, we're gonna look at how we can make ourselves a welder to repair it on board. In order for us to do this, we only really need one item, which is a little pack of stainless steel welding rods, stick welding rods. These cost about $10, they're tiny, so you can stow them away easily on the boat, and then they're always there if you ever need them in an emergency. We're going to need two 12 volt batteries so we can steal them from the boat. They can be house batteries, starter batteries, doesn't really matter. We then need some large diameter cables. It's handy to carry booster cables, jumper cables on the boat, so hopefully you'll have some of those. But if you don't, battery cables, any kind of wiring from your boat, you could steal it for this purpose and then put it back afterwards. The larger the cross section of the cables, the better. These are actually quite poor because they're very thin but this still works and this is kind of a real world test I suppose because you're gonna be making do with whatever you've got to hand. So with these three items alone, we can make a very rudimentary welding setup. I've got a couple of extra items here. I've stolen our fire blanket from the galley so as not to burn our boat. I've got a fire extinguisher and when I bought the welding rods, I also bought a very cheap auto darkening replacement lens for a welding helmet. So I don't have room for a welding helmet on board, but this was taped to the welding rods so that they could be stowed away very easily. And I've just made myself a little welding setup here by taping that to some safety specs. We're gonna be wiring these two batteries in series to get 24 volts. So we'll go into the positive terminal of one battery and put that onto the negative terminal of the other battery. We're then going to connect our leads to the positive. And the negative. So we've now got 24 volts on here and with this we can weld. I'm going to use a set of mole grips to hold the welding rod. And we're going to be attaching the DC negative to this to weld. We're then going to put the positive onto the workpiece. In this case, it's some stainless steel, a uh, quite beefy section that I used to build our solar panel arch. And I've drilled some holes in it. We can have a go at repairing those. And then we can have a try of joining these two together. So that has filled the hole there, but it's the ugliest weld in the world. Now I did find with some experimentation before that this can be improved by adding an inductor and it's quite easy to make one of those. All you need is something ferrous, so you could use an anchor shank for example. I've got a big steel bolt and then if you put some coils of cable around that it kind of helps with the arc and it gives you a better weld. Here's our big steel bolt and we'll just put some coils around this, as many as we can really. We've got this little clamp on vice on our boat. It's really handy. You can put it anywhere you like. Okay, we've got those two clamped together. Now let's see if we can weld them.
Well, do you know what? I'm really happy with that. I'm a terrible welder, as you can see, but even I was able to make a weld and that's got good penetration. I think it's quite a good weld, but the light is fading fast and we can't really assess it very well now. So I think I'll come back to you tomorrow. And where are you going with mummy? Are you going to the park? The shoes? <laughs> right then, it's a new day. I've been busy doing other things, but I'm back with you now. So let's have a look at this weld. As I said yesterday, I am a terrible welder, but considering the way that this weld was made, that is a good result. That's a strong weld. And if I can manage to give you a shot of the inside, the penetration is good, it's come right through. And if I was to spend the time to go all the way around this with a weld like that, then this would be a very, very strong connection. But that's just what I think. Let me know what you think in a comment below. Is this better than you would expect from this kind of setup? Or would you have expected better? Now I've got a clamp meter here that measures DC amps. So I'm gonna stick that on there and we can see how many amps are being drawn while we're welding. Well, we got a couple of good welds there. So hopefully if you're ever stuck in the middle of the Atlantic with something stainless steel broken, you've now got an option to get yourself out of that situation. I hope you found this video useful. If you did give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, I'm gonna be putting together a little PDF about this. So if you want to print that off and keep it on your boat in case you ever need to do it in five years time or whatever, then you'll find information about that over here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Ciao.